this is our video for chapter 8 lesson 2. <laughs> this video is all about the area of circles. So notes for chapter 8 lesson 2. Area is measured in square units. You already knew this because we already did area of polygons, quadrilaterals and triangles, and you should remember that square units are things like square inches, square feet, and literally a square foot is a square and all four sides of that square measure one foot. So keep that in your head as we go through area. <clears throat> the area of a circle is like the meat, cheese, and sauce of the pizza. If you remember from the last video, we talked about the circumference being the crust. Well, the area is all the good stuff on the inside. So remember that. Area of a circle. <clears throat> the formula for area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. And for this formula, we absolutely have to know the radius. If you don't know the radius, you have to find the radius. So it's time for a really fast review. Remember that every circle has pieces called radii and diameters and even chords. But a radius is something that starts in the center of the circle and goes to the edge. The diameter goes from the edge of the circle all the way through the center and to the other side. So if we look at our diameter, we can see that it's actually made up of two radii. Okay, so every diameter is equal to two radii. So let's see if we can figure out some questions here. If a circle has a diameter of 10 centimeters, then what will the radius be? So if the diameter is 10, the whole way across, that's 10 centimeters, then what is the radius? Well, the radius is half of that, so the radius will be 5 centimeters. I hope you knew that. Same, uh, same thing, number two, if a circle has a radius of 10 centimeters, so if the radius is 10, then what will the diameter be? Well, the diameter is 2 times the radius, so my diameter will be 20 centimeters. So keep that in mind as we go through this because there are going to be times where you are given the diameter and we have to find the radius. Practice problem, a round tablecloth has a radius of four feet. What is its area? Well, again, first thing I do, you know what I do here. I like to draw a little diagram. I drew a circle. The information that is given is that the circle has a radius of four feet. So now it's time for me to write my area formula. An area is equal to pi times the radius squared. So formula first, then we substitute. Pi is 3.14, the radius is 4 feet, and we have to square that radius. Following the order of operations, we have to do our exponent first. So 4 squared is 16, and then we have to take 3.14 times 16. I'm going to use a calculator for this. 3.14 and 16 is 50.24. If you have a calculator, you can use that for these problems. If not, make sure that you are doing the long multiplication here. Okay. Now, remember, this is area. An area is measured in square units. Area is when we try to figure out how many squares fit inside a shape. So we have to remember to put square feet in our final answer. So the area of that circle would be 50.24 square feet. Number two, a large pizza from Suglia's has an 18 inch diameter. We are asked, what is the area of the pizza? That's our first question we're going to answer. We've got our circle here with a diameter drawn. Diameter is what's given, but remember in an area formula, in an area problem, we have to know the radius, a equals pi r squared. So our first job is to say, hey, we do not need to know the diameter. We need to know the measurement of the radius. So 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches. That's the number I'm going to put in for r. 
So substitute 3.14 in for pi, substitute 9 for r, that is our radius. Follow the order of operations, 9 squared is 81. And I've got to multiply that by 3.14. Again, I'm going to pull out my calculator here. 3.14 times 81 is 254 and 34 hundredths. 254 oops, and 34 hundredths. Again, this is area, so I'll be using square inches this time. Okay, so that is area for us, <clears throat> area of a circle. So the last thing you have to do is we have to figure out a couple practice problems for you guys to do tonight. I am looking at page, let me add this here, I'm looking at page five in your notes. So your assignment, I'd like you to do question number three on page five. I would also like you to do, I would really like you to try number four on page five as well. We're going to work backwards to solve for that. We did that with circumference in class. When you're finished with that, don't forget to do your Google form. And don't forget to update your note card so that you have your area of a circle formula.